hero play here oh boom what is up guys and welcome to the beyond standards channel my name is shanks and today we are going to cast e 2 v 2 replay on the famous map anorian in bfme 1 on the page 2.22 between the red gondor player serbian boy his ally the orange rohan player mateus 316 versus the mordor player zimix and his ally the you know the yellow gondor player one concept so mordor and gondor versus rohan and gondor three good factions only one evil so he's splitting his soldiers and actually choosing to attack the gondor farm that's pretty uncommon because usually you would see them going to the evil but this can also work and also this gondor didn't give his farm to his ally and for that reason mordor won't be that rich you know in the meantime there is a counter attack with only one soldier the one soldier can't do anything about this the hobbit will be easily able to defend this he's microing around but it will cause the farm to start repairing very very soon and then it will even heal more so he's fighting the hobbit but hobbit can kite you know hit and run hit and run in the meantime heal is gonna be used from the yellow gonna play one concept eye of sauron is buffing those soldiers in a 1v2 situation there comes the super delete alvin wood gondor will be able to recapture the settlement and the hobbit is also coming now to join the party and now it's a 2v1 situation and the red gonna play should be able to win this hobbit in the meantime is taking some damage in the meantime i think this guy's cash looting no he's not he wanna rush boromium incredibly fast and also rohan making lots of farms inside the castle so 2.2 is bringing out the infantry meta you will see that more and more often in the previously outdated versions of the game cavalry was like the way to go now Kef is still as strong as they used to be in the past, but infantry got a bit buff. And for that reason, especially in those smaller maps like Anurian is, you will see more infantry because it's pretty strong, you know? Okay, Gondor, the red Gondor is fighting still against those soldiers, but they are also taking lots of damage from the Hobbit. Hobbit is all about to hit level two. And also this farm must protect it, that's good. So Barak's building up now for Mateusz, who, uh, for Serbian boy. And Boromium has been recruited, who is going to be taking care of this troll. Troll doesn't stand a chance against Boromir. Boromir will keep knocking him down on the ground, has crazy attack speed. But what makes him so strong is the knockback, otherwise he would not be able to 1v1 the troll. And also Boromir will be recruited from the yellow Gondor player. So we have two Boromirs fighting around one cave troll layer. I am the captain of Gondor. No, I am the captain of Gondor. No, I am the captain of Gondor. No, I am the captain of Gondor. I am the favorite son of Denethor. No, it's me. You know? Oh, it is coming too? No, they are not knocking each other anymore. Oh, he's gonna be knocked. Remember, there, there is no healing, but the Hobbit is gonna make the difference. And uh, we have uh, to, you know, look at this, man. Pippin, you know, who is the peregrine of the Tower Guard and the captain of Gondor, two of them. Who is the imposter? Good looking beast from Mordor. Gollum is gonna be revived. Uh, troll cage is up on the field. And without horses, that's the main differential here. You have no threat on the enemy lumber mills. The second the troll comes out, your peasants won't be able to do anything. And Mordor will be freely able to scale into the mid game. For that reason, horses are actually very important. Uh, when you play double good, like you play basically. Oh, boom! Okay. Also, Farami has been recruited. The troll layer is, by the way, still remaining. Nobody is taking care of this troll layer. And boom! Oh, can Farami... Oh, heal is coming in clutch. Heal is nerfed. It doesn't heal full, to full HP anymore. And also, Legolas has been recruited. Now oh, you gotta run, Farami. Yeah. Luckily, he has no warning at all. Otherwise, this Farami would be in big trouble. Uh, Legolas is faster than Farah. But what Farah can do is he can get mounted and get away. Troll is going to be revived. Who got the last hit? Boro got the last hit, right? Yeah, Boro got the last hit. Taking the money too. He's going to turn and fight this troll. But he got to also keep running. And Legolas... Boromir is now in tr trouble. Far Farami is going to kill this guy and Legolas... Who killed... The I don't know who killed Boromir. Oh, but Legolas killed Farami. That's for sure. Now the troll is going to be also taken down by Farami and Legolas two archers. In the meantime, Mordor was creeping this. Mordor is having the time of his life. You know what I'm saying? Like, Mordor getting the orbit level two has untouched eco will get very strong you know once those kids are done playing mordor the big boy the big brother is gonna show them who the boss is in this game you know four trolls with drama troll good luck dealing with that one you know full beast 
Um, it kind of makes sense that this Gondor going for the infantry because his ally is Mordor, who has uh, lots of leadership, you know, to provide with the Eye of Sauron and Dramatur all alone. It's 100% damage, which will make those combos hit like an absolute truck. Boro will be revived level 3, and Farah was level 4 because he was the one who killed the uh, Boromir from the Red Gondor. The creep is still remaining, but this one should be left for Boro, in my opinion. Boro should be the one who's getting the last hit here. He's almost level 4, getting the last hit on the creep will make him to reach level 4, and this is an incredibly strong and important uh, milestone for the Captain of Condor. Okay, got it. Okay, beautiful. Leadership unlocked. This Faramir killed the other Faramir, he's level 4, needs one level. In the meantime, we have trolls fighting against other trolls, four trolls against one. Come at me, bro. Oh, beautiful, you know. Oh, nice. The synergy, though. The elf and the dwarf. Gimli's level 1, though. Gimli needs to be, like, Gimli's level 2 is low-key very important in this matchup, boys. I'm telling you. It's very important in this matchup. Because it, the stubborn pride gives you general resistance to fear. So remember, Mordor is a faction that is having lots of fear effects. As for example, the roar ability from the drummer troll or the screech of the Nazgul and Witch King. By the way, Zimix making a mistake. I think combos not really needed uh, because your ally is making combos. I think you go troll, 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 drama, drama, and then you wait for Witch King, you know? That's better. But this way, you have at least a bit more firepower. Even though there's combos, you know, they have no upgrades. They will not be that strong, unlike the Gondor combos. They will have, eventually, Faramir leadership too, and Boromir leadership. So it's infantry meta. They have three good factions, but none of them ever went for the horses. Faramir is being chunked. Bam. Look at this. Oof. Boom. Oh, heal had to be used. Huge cooldown. Heal has 3 minutes and 15 seconds cooldown. It's a major cooldown. Which will be difficult. Theoden is going to be recruited to support this army with leadership. Remember, Theoden gives you 40% damage and 50% armor. There is also Boromir with 60% damage. So, 100% damage output and 50% armor. That's what the Rohan Gondor team have. And also Rohan going for the combos. I think also the same situation here. I think it's better to get Aragorn first before you make combos. So then you have even greater amount of damage leadership. In this situation, leadership of damage is more important and leadership of armor. Theorin and the king of Rohan and the captain of Gondor. Look at them shining boys. Helgard Ranger combination, pretty lit combo. Uh, skinny archers and two combos with fire arrows. And also Rohan combos joining. Far uh, Legolas is level 4. That means he can give them huge experience boost. Like I'm telling you, huge experience boost. And you want to use it Whenever it's available, every two minutes you want to spam this thing, you know? Oh, but in the meantime, I'm blind. They are just fully committing towers. They don't stand a chance. Too much leadership on these drummer trolls. Uh, on these trolls, I mean, they are hitting like a truck. There comes the big fight now. Boromir is diving in a little bit too deep. Eye of Sauron is going to be used. There comes the big healing. Boromir and also Theoden have to be coming closer to this area. The trolls are starting to charge in. Trolls will smash you. There comes the warning arrow from downtown. The trolls, they keep going, but they will keep dying too. The drama troll is way too far away. There comes the length. For whatever reason, you are against Gondor who can cover this. But there is an enemy Gondor who can also cover this. So at the end of the day, this is still the land from the Mordor Gondor team. There comes the roar ability. But I believe Gimli is not. They are level 3. They don't get uh, scared. Heroes are still untouched. Uh, Theoden almost level 3. Boromir is being focused. This is the land from the Mordor team, by the way. They have more leadership here. But Legolas is just hitting like a truck. There comes the extra... Boom! But they don't die. They have too much leadership on the land. And the Boromir now is being fully exposed. Only one combo remaining. Maybe it's time for Boromir to run. Gimli is the worst possible focus. Gimli is a tanky boy. You will not be able to kill him that easily. Now the combos are exposed, there comes the warning arrow on the Boromir. Boromir now has no more healing, but Theoden is going to be killed from this level 5 combo. And Boromir from the enemy team, what a fiesta. <laughs> level 6 unlocked, and only one more level to go. Faramir getting mounted, heal is going to be used on Faramir, he's level 5, can he get away? Yes. The favorite son of Denethor has been killed, and, you know, the second favorite son, let's call him this way, was able to be saved. Just like in the movies okay and mordor keeps making more and more trolls obviously 
And for that reason, he has no money for the Witch King yet. But it's about to be changed. He has 4,000. One part of the wall broken. So Rohan is exposed. This also belongs, by the way, to Rohan. To Matthias. But he needs to reclaim this one as soon as possible. Theodain will be revived. And Legolas being super strong. So Legolas is one of those heroes you don't want... When you play against Legolas, you don't want him to be highly leveled. Because he's like a huge threat, you know, against all your heroes. Big level up, level almost 5 Yeoman and Peasant combos. But they have no heavy armor, if I'm not mistaken. They do actually have heavy armor. And Gondor will build one more blacksmith and keep also bringing more and more combos. Maybe Gandalf could be nice. Let me take a look into the PowerPoint. Matthias is almost the Alvin Wood. S Serbian boy, this dude here, has uh, three power points. He's far away from Gandalf, money-wise at least. Power points, he will have it. And there comes the counter push. Look, lots of firepower boys. Two combos, one of them being level three, one of them being level four. Elves, level three. Legolas, level six. Theodain, almost level three. Gimli, level two. Has to step on right now. If borrow me leadership too, and Farah me leadership. So Farah borrow Theodin. That's the leadership we unlocked. And also for the elves, we have Legolas leadership. The leadership here for more DPS. Okay, so let's do this, man. But dude, we have hallelujah amount of trolls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven trolls and two drama trolls. Okay. So one concept is, is also bringing his reinforcements, a ranger, soldier combination. And also regular skin archers. Gimli got level 3. That means leap attack is unlocked. Which, by the way, is super underrated against trolls. It's able to knock down the trolls on the ground. So when trolls are charging, you leap on them. And there is a very high percentage chance you will be able to knock them all down on the ground. Boom. You see, that's what I'm talking about. But the trolls are hemming. Going ham, 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 ham. Too many trolls. There comes the Rohirrim special summon. This dude is level 4. He has no horn yet. Trolls are charging in, going crazy. But he will die. All of them are actually dead. But the combos from one concept are arriving now. Boromir got level 5. The troll is still going. Level 2, there is another troll. Kill those trolls, man. There comes the one of Condor to stun the Rohirrim. Very good play here from one concept. And the roar will scare them. So stun them, scare them. Legolas got sniped. These combos are no joke with Drama Troll plus Boromir plus Eye of Sauron. They have crazy leadership bonuses. Boom. Extra. You can deep on them, but I wouldn't recommend it. They are level 10, my man. They are level 10, my dude. Father leadership, Boro leadership, the Forgondor ability, and the Drama Troll plus I. And for now, they are safe. But all the trolls got killed. Okay. And now maybe it's time for a potential counter-attack. But the drama trolls, they need to be moving. There is only one more remaining. So you need it. Like, I would always recommend to have like two. More than two is a little bit of an overkill. Because it's, you know, waste. So one is not enough though. Because when you lose them, you are done so. And the having two has the advantage that they will give armor leadership to each other, right? And that means killing them for the enemy will be a bit harder. But two is like the good number you don't want to have three three is a little bit too much also level five combos were able to survive legolas has been killed he's gonna get revived he's level six it's gonna take you two minutes to get the prince of the midwood elves back into the game here in level three and we have also now a wizard gandalf the problem is gandalf as strong as he usually is can't really approach his army without getting one shotted one tapped Especially now around the middle camp with the statue, they have even more damage leadership, 50% more. Just calculate for a single second, okay? 50 from the statue, uh, 60 from Boromir, that's 110. If Boromir using the four Gondor, that's 150. Ramatrol gives 50, that's 200%. And Eye of Sauron gives another 50, that's 250% damage leadership. And this is without Witch King, because he's not there yet, and without Darkness, which might be available for the next big fight. In two, because he needs only two more power points to get it unlocked from the spell book. We will see though. Okay. But you need, at this point, the biggest counter to leadership is magic damage. And your siege weapons or the siege damage. 
The siege weapons actually kind of countering this immobile units pretty big. The two trebuchet stone, the fire stone here, hit, you can kill everything. So you need that, you know? The, the question is, like when you ask yourself, when do I need siege weapons? There is one single answer, simple answer to this. It's all about math. So when you know your enemy has more leadership than you do, you need traps. Beautiful hit. But they can go back to the well and recover. No, they can't. Legolas finishing them off. Legolas, almost level 7 though. Um, also, this team has Boromir level 7, by the way. But you can see the damage output is kind of nutty, dude. If Aragorn can compensate this a little bit, but I'm assuming Rohan has not, not that much money. He actually will have money. He also didn't go for the Grand Harvest on the farms, which would be quite uh, be, you know, big on this level 3 farms. Aragorn will be recruited for more DPS. And also, Faramir is back in the business. So, Faramir... Okay, we have a max leadership versus max leadership situation once the Witch King joins the battlefield. And I believe... Um, he's still far away because he keeps making more and more trolls. He needs around 4,000. We heard, we heard Gollum. He's back in the business, boy. Smeagol is his name with his new up-to-date profile picture. It looks like they want to go to the Gondor. Building this trap expansion is a waste of money. It will get one-shotted by the trolls. Hobbit. Summon's army just to kill one hobbit. Now they are rotating. Aragorn is back in the business. Aragorn has no Anduri sword because Rohan has not the power points to unlock it yet. With the Anduri sword, Aragorn is extremely squishy hero, but yet he still provides his leadership of damage. So 50% damage from this dude, 40 from this dude, it's 90, 60 from Boromir, 150. Dude, heal, double, double heal actually. It was double heal. You want to kill the trolls first. Gimli is being chunked. Oh, nice leap. Darkness for more leadership. You, you want to destroy the catapults. Aragorn is getting slaughtered by the trolls. One does not simply walk into Mordor. The combos are untouched. Gandalf can't approach this. But maybe we're going to see a hero play here. Is he going to go for the land blast? Land blast? No, he's going to use land history light. To kill one of the two drummer trolls. You are not achieving anything out of that, man. This army is so incredibly strong. Uh, the good thing is he killed the trolls. That means they can't really break in too fast. But I'm assuming that one concept is too much leadership now. He has even too many power points. Like he has eight. He can go for the eagles if he wants to, right? And he has 9,000 in the bank too. I think that's because Boromir's pillage. But Boromir was running it down. Boromir. One does not simply walk into Gondor either, my friend. Maybe you can just go for Rohan. If you have to make a choice between in a 2v2 situation to either go to Rohan enemy or to Gondor enemy, Rohan enemy is the way to go because the beast is way less durable, right? Uh, there are no trap expansions or trebuchet waiting inside the castle of you, only towers which won't hurt them. And if you don't know, you can even destroy the battle towers of Rohan uh, with your archers, which you can't... Oh boy, Theodine is being chunked. Run, run, Theodine. Legolas level 7. He's using the ability, but it doesn't hurt them anymore. That's too much leadership, dude. Too much leadership. You know, now with Witch King, Darkness and everything. Even Gandalf now coming, joining. Legolas getting one-tapped. Yeah, in 2v2s, it's a different story, man. You know, 2v2 with more the ally... It just hits different, dude. It just hits different. Trust me on that one. Eagles almost available. The Eagles available. I mean, three power points after that. He has even Ganna to white power point. Like, killing those heroes is so rewarding in terms of, you know, uh, power points you are gaining from it. Uh, Gimli level 5, maybe. Like, the way Gimli level 5 is working is it gives you 100% damage, right? And the damage you get from the Slayer also affects your abilities and we are talking about the leap attack people are using the leap attack wrong the way you want to use it is you want to get close to them you want to get like here and then you want to leap over them so when you see here and you leap to this location over them and you hit everything on your way to the desired location so this hits them hits the hardest 
But this is kind of to ink. Dying. You can't approach them like this, man. Oh, boom, chakalaka. Oh, eagles. Yeah, dude, what can I say? Give Mordor too much time. He will be the monster ally you need. No pressure on the castle. You need to win multiple fights, you know? Can they somehow defend this? Remember, Tilden is gone. Legolas is gone. That was very interesting. Did you guys see this? He got knocked down by the eagle and he got still his jump off while being knocked down. Gandalf. Two eagles, one Nazgul on Lich King. Lightning Sword. Oh my goodness. Theodin just joined in the last second and Lightning Sword started hitting him. Gandalf level 9. Aragorn, the one man standing, being attacked by three flying creatures. Aragorn against Gandalf. Aragorn won't die out of that. Now he's gonna chunk. Oh man. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> All right, GG well played, guys. You see the power of leadership in this game. Mordor, I mean, infantry is good, but without Kev, you can't stop Mordor from reaching to its final form. So without you harassing his eco, Mordor will have like a very strong and easy early game. He will pass the mid game and reach the late game, and that's something you don't want to make one of you can go combos the other player should at least start with two horses and you can demolish it and make heroes afterwards but you need this harassment on the gondor farm on the mordor farm otherwise you will get too much money and that's gonna happen gg well played i hope you guys enjoyed this if you did you know what to do smash that like button subscribe for more videos like this in the future i will see you next time until then take care of yourself keep hitting like a truck and as always stay beyond standards peace out boys